We have got a brand new girl group entering the K-pop scene, and I'm always excited for brand new groups, so let's check them out. What is going on everybody? My name is Nick from MWK Pop and I want to welcome you back for another music video reaction. Today I have got for you guys the debut of a rookie girl group coming out of DSP Entertainment, which is always exciting. DSP is a, is a company that puts out some pretty solid music. I like a lot of the stuff that they have put out over the last few years. So I'm really interested to see what this new group has got. I haven't seen their teasers. I know that they that they released the dance practice version of this song before it even came out, which was weird. Although I guess that was more of a teaser, but whatever it, it is. I have zero idea because like I, I always try to stay away from these things. So I come into it totally blind, not knowing at all what to expect. So we have got the headphones on. I put them on very slowly. So let's get it started in three, two, one, go. Got DSP. Ooh, this is. Intriguing, I guess. I don't know. What are they? What are they going for here? The probably the least offensive thing you could po you could probably go. But I like that vocal flow though. That's nice. I'm liking this. this is a bit is I like I like how it's upbeat. You know, it's pretty kind of like typical or expected for like the debut of a girl group, but it's still really nice. I'm liking this. I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I need to. I should check out the choreo, the dance version of this song. Cause like that's that's half of the whole performance and experience of this. You know, is the choreography. Woo. That was, those outfits that they just changed into were cool. I like how they just went from like white to colorful as hell. Wow. I'm liking I'm liking this song. There's, so, there's something about it that's just really awesome. Ah, it's a huge paper airplane too. <laughs> I'm liking this. It feels this is kind of like this entire this entire video and song is it's kind of like it's a. I don't know, like a fantasy, like we're like a dream set in like some fantasy land. I, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling like right now. I might be crazy though. I don't know. It, they kind of, they honestly, like, they kind of remind me a little bit, a tiny bit, of Lovelies. Although Lovelies were, they were more, they were, they were less like little girls, like these guys are, these girls are. But that's okay. It doesn't make any difference. But I mean, it's nice. This is actually really. I like it. It's enjoy a unicorn. That was a unicorn, and those girls are just like you know, no big deal. Unicorns, we see them all the time. It's not a unit. It is a unicorn. That was nice. That was nice. That's got me. That that has done exactly what a. A debut song and just any sort of promotion track for a new album is supposed to do and that has got me interested to listen to the rest of their mini album and 
that was that was nice. So I said I said that they kind of remind me of Lovelies a little bit. You know, they've got that. You know, there's a debut girl group, so they're not going with anything. You know, they can't go with anything sexy because they're. I guess they're just too young to do that. You know, if that makes any sense, or at least in their you know K-pop career, it's too early for them to do that. So most group definitely, you know, gro- groups don't go in that direction, and. You know, this was this was nice. The, I mean, like the music beat and stuff like that, upbeat, really, really awesome. Because you know, a lot of times I think that you know, I'm talking about like debuts, right? An upbeat sort of song is definitely the the way that you go. Um, I know for a fact, you know, uh, JJCC as an exam as like the the only example I can really pick out. Uh, they debuted with more of a ballad song, and that didn't do so well. And that wasn't the you know they didn't get a whole lot of attention from that. Whereas you know, if they had gone with with more of like a pop song kind of thing with a bit of, you know, that was more up tempo and stuff like that, then it would have gotten a bit more attention. So, you know, April coming out with with an up tempo song and, you know, it's just I mean, it's pretty it's pretty typical. It's I don't think it's really anything, you know, mind blowing or crazy, but one, it's enjoyable. It's the most important thing. It doesn't make anybody want to turn it off. And two, it has, you know, for me, and I'm probably, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people who may or may not have been interested in this group before they made their debut, has got me interested to hear what else they have got. So, you know, I'm definitely, definitely going to be looking into the album. Hopefully, they've got some songs that stand out more than this one did, did because, you know, like I said, the entire point of this is to promote their debut and their new album, and not, you know, to to have like the least, like I guess, offensive. I'm gonna say. Um, you know, release possible, and I mean offensive in a way that it's not going to be some, you know, something that is, you know, more appealing to more people in general, to the general population, than, you know, having it focused on a, you know, strict, you know, on on a narrow group of people that are going to enjoy it, and excluding a lot of people from, you know, getting into this. So it's a really good. I think it's a pretty good debut from April. They've definitely started off their career. Uh, on a on a decent path. We'll see where they go. I'm expecting that they're probably going to come out with another. You know that they're going to be following the same the same you know line that Lovelies has, uh, and I think that the, that April and Lovelies are going to be two really really similar um, sim- similar groups. So I'm interested in seeing how that goes. Although I have to say that I think I like Lo- I like Lovelies more, but I'm gonna definitely be waiting for April's second comeback, which I hope comes in like maybe six or nine nine months we'll say nine nine months for an april comeback seems about you know like a decent time for me six months if they're really going to turn around quick i think uh and even before then if they're just like not going to stop promoting they're going to stop promoting and then they're instantly going to go into producing a a new a new music video or song or something so there you go that's the debut for april the brand new dsp group um quite different from any other girl group that dsp i think the only D- girl group that DSP's got signed is Rainbow. I could be wrong about that though, because I tend to be wrong a lot of times, and I misspeak, and I don't have someone telling me you that wasn't right. You should do that, and you should take that, you know, cut again. But yeah, so there we go. That's what I got to say. Really interesting. April's off to a good start in their career, I think. So that is all that I have got to say. I want to know what you had to say, so put it down in the comment box below so that I can read all of your thoughts and opinions. I really want to hear what you have to say. Also, get connected with me on social media. If you check the links down below, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all kinds of other fun stuff. There's links down in the description box below. Also, I would really appreciate it if you could help me go full time on YouTube to bring you guys bigger and better content and different stuff that I know that you guys want to see. So if you want to support me on Patreon or through YouTube fan funding, click your little button dealy here to bring it, bring down the cards and you can do that that would be really really awesome so that is going to be it for this video as always i want to thank you for watching i'll see you all next time goodbye to be bringing you one of my most favorite groups in k-pop rainbow my reaction to their newest song in over a year black called black swan i'm so amazingly excited for this